just dropped Will off at school and I am headed to um, the a NICU hospital to do my NICU simulations. We have to do those um, just so that we can get more experience uh, with that. And I'm glad because I have NICU rotations. Um, uh, my next round of clinicals. So if you remember or you've heard me talk about before where we have eight weeks of clinicals um, at one site for four weeks and then another site for four weeks so my first four weeks I'm doing another set of ICU rotations at one hospital one that I've already been to and then um, I'm doing uh, NICU rotations at a fairly new NICU um, well, I mean, it's not new. It's just been really, like, remodeled. So, um, I think I'm either the first or one of the first people in our class to go to this NICU. So, I'm excited. But, we're going to do uh, simulations today. Pretty much, it's just where we're in, like, a hospital setting with fake patients. And, um, practicing doing things. Like, we're learning about the high-frequency oscillator, the high-frequency jet probably like more intubation, um, physical exam, stuff like that. So I had my ACLS class yesterday. That was a long day, like a long day. We got done early. We got done an hour early. So 4.30 instead of 5.30. We started at 7.30 in the morning and I passed. I passed on my first try. My test didn't have to get sent back. Uh, so I didn't have to retake the written test and my um, verbal test or my uh, mock mega code test um, passed that. I did that really fast actually and I am proud of myself. I studied enough. I, you know, took enough breaks. I studied correctly and I was nervous for nothing. My teachers are amazing and they even said that they've never had a student not pass. Like they want you to pass. They are willing to help you and they give you little hints along the way and they teach you and practice with you enough throughout the day that you're comfortable with it towards the end. So I was very comfortable with it and everybody in my class did well. So that's good. But um, I am currently driving. So I will go ahead and put the camera down and if I can record anything in simulation, I will. And if I can't, then I will just see you whenever I get out.
it's later it is currently 2:40 now and I had a lot of fun. I did get to record some of the stuff that we did. Like you saw, we intubated a baby and um, bagged a neonate, suctioned. We got to draw from a UAC, that's an umbil umbilical artery catheter. Um, that's something that you'll learn whenever you take your neopedes class. Um, and we also got to learn about like the high frequency jet ventilator and the high frequency oscillating ventilator. That is a mouthful. And it's really confusing. Those things are really, really intimidating. But seeing them in person really, really helped. I'm still kind of confused on the jet, so I'm going to have to do more looking into that. But yeah, like definitely seeing them helped. And then we also got to do some scenarios where we set up um like ventilator settings for neonatal and pediatric patients so it was a really good learning opportunity we also got some paperwork for um clinicals coming up we got um just a copy of our syllabus and she just told us about you know the expectations and things like that and she gave us a copy of what our um like paperwork is going to look like we have to do like um report sheets every week on a patient for neonates and for adults and then we have a sheet for our pft rotation and our anesthesia rotation where we get to intubate um i'll go ahead and show you what they look like just so you can get an idea of what i'm talking about okay so this is what our um adult and pediatric patient sheet looks like we want to know obviously we're not going to put like any identifying things on there but they do want to know like the age and their weight ideal body weight and their gender and then um like different diagnoses uh medical history any kind of airways that they have um patient vitals like ventilator settings for invasive and non-invasive um sputum assessment abg results um medications hemodynamics, just stuff like that. Pharmacology, just listing out what they're um, taking as far as like meds that are not respiratory related. And then just some um, calculations. And then for NICU, pretty much just the same thing, just different, um, like some of it's a little different. And then here is the one for our anesthesia rotation. Um, this is just a checkoff list, so we need to at least do two of these, but we can do as many as we can. We just need to at least do two of the things on this list, like placement of an ET tube, placement of a laryngeal, laryngeal mask airway, um, assist um, with monitoring the patient, assist with transmitting patient to the uh, PACU and then we get the option to observe a open heart surgery so that's really cool and then this is the one that we need to do for our um, PFT rotation I am gonna suck at this because I don't really remember anything from PFTs but we have to write down um, like their diagnosis the test that we're doing um, their information uh, we have a set list of questions that we need to ask them like do they have any cough do they have any uh, like a hard time breathing what their smoking history is all that kind of stuff and then their vitals and then the test results and we have two of these so yeah so yeah it's a lot and I'm really glad that this is our last semester because I am over it I am over filling out patient sheets I know my entire class is over it too but this is my last few days I get to just chill because Tuesday is the start of classes and then next Wednesday we have clinics for the first time. So that's going to be fun. But tomorrow I have my nail appointment. That's the only thing I have to do tomorrow. And then Friday I'm just working at my pet store job that I, you know, sometimes work at off and on. Um, and then my mom is keeping Will overnight, so I might ask Matt if he wants to have a date night that night where we go out just me and him without a toddler. I'm able to, you know, get a little bit of alcohol in me 
and then just relax and then Saturday morning I am going an hour away to take pictures at 7.30 in the morning. So I'll have to get up by 5.30, leave no later than 6.30 to get there by 7.30. At least I will have that done early in the morning and I won't have to worry about anything else. And then Monday, I have that whole day off. Um, will will probably be at home with me because it's Memorial Day. And then classes start on Tuesday. And then I graduate on July 29th. I am so excited. I just, I'm ready to be done with school, ready to start working. And then <laughs> I'm just ready to be done with school. Okay, so it's the next day. I'm sorry if my air vents are loud, but I have the AC cranked up because it is hot outside. And I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt, yes, but it is still hot outside. Um, so I am on my way now to get my nails done because I have pictures to um, take tomorrow for my graduation. So I will talk to you guys whenever I get done and show you my nails. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, sure. okay, okay. So loud. Okay, so these are what my nails look like. I love the color. My cuticles look just a little um, messy, but that's only because my anxiety causes me to pick at them. And she did what she could, but ignore my messy floorboard. That's what my toes look like. They don't look busted up no more. So overall, I'm really happy. She was really sweet and she did a really good job. That mimosa was delicious. I had to drink it slow because she made it just right, but I haven't eaten today and it's almost, it's 1.55, so it's two o'clock. I am absolutely starving. I am going to go eat and then I have to go um, by Target to get William more sandals. And I also have to go to my school to get something for his daycare. Um, I get a less expensive daycare like per week just because I'm a student. So it's time for like, I guess reevaluation because it's a new semester. So I have to show them how many semester hours I have because um, they base the uh, the discount on that and it's a really good discount too and I'll even get a discount there once I start working because they have a discount for healthcare providers so that's really cool too um just because my school is a little farther away I think I might wait and do that another day because I have until the 15th of June and today is the 25th so I have a little bit but I don't think I want to do that today but I'm definitely gonna go get something to eat and I'm definitely gonna go buy Target because I have to do those and they're close by. So I might as well just do that today. Okay, so I didn't find anything at Target, which is a surprise because I usually find some really cute stuff at Target. So I went to Rack Room Shoes, still didn't find anything for him, but I found me a cute pair of sandals. I'll show you those in a minute. And then I ordered him some sandals just off of Amazon because why not? But I did get a couple of packages delivered. God, I can't even open this. Jeez. So I got this. What this is, is a, like a stethoscope holder to clip on the side of your, um, like on your hip, on your pants. Because if you just wear it around your, uh, your neck the oils from your skin can cause the tubing to crack so I ordered this off of Etsy so this will hook onto your pants and your stethoscope will hook onto here um, I'll test it out in a little bit I'd have to go dig my stethoscope out and I don't feel like doing that right now so I'll do that in a second I also got a bag um, I have to go over there to get the box 
So let me show you my shoes really quick. So William has a chocolate milkshake that I shouldn't have given him because it's almost dinner time. But look at my sandals. These are the cutest things ever. They are bobs, I think is what they're called. And it's a size 17. A size seven and a half. I'm usually a size eight, but these fit me really well. My guy, what are you doing? Why are you walking so close? Okay, here is a better view of them from this side. Super cute. They were $49.99, I believe, so not very expensive. Okay, here's the box with the bag. So it's I'll link these down below. It's, um, I don't remember the brand, but it's supposed to be like theft proof, which I wasn't really getting it because it was like theft proof. I was getting it to take to the hospital with me and I just liked the way it looked. Super cute. So it doesn't have any zippers up here. It does have a hidden one right here and a hidden one right here. Those are like front pockets, but the main pocket is, I don't know what I just dropped. The main pocket is right here in the back. Oh, what is this? Oh, it came with a passport case. I don't know if it was supposed to come with a passport case, but it did and that'll be, that'll come in handy because Matt and I are planning on going on a cruise, but the main compartment is back here. It looks pretty spacious and it looks like it'll carry what I need to just to the hospital because I only plan on using this as a clinical slash work bag when I start working. I wanted a new bag because I like the blue one. The blue one is just a little too big for me and I do have an idea of doing a giveaway for the blue bag. I will show you the bag that I was using. It's a very popular bag on Amazon. It's just, it was too big for what I needed it for. So that's why I want to give it away to one of you guys. Okay, so this is what the little stethoscope holder looks like this attaches to like your waistband and your um your earpieces go through that like this i know it's weird oh and it keeps focusing on my face so your earpieces go through it like this and then your bell just hooks on like that and you carry it on your waist like this. And it helps keep your tubing from cracking um, from the oils on your neck. And it also helps um, with neck discomfort and pain because sometimes your stethoscope can get really heavy, especially if you work um, like long hours or if you have like the more advanced type of stethoscope where it's heavier, like the tubing is thicker. So yeah, I really like that. I'm really happy with it. Um, so I decided that I'm gonna do details on the giveaway in my next video here. Um, in a day or so, I plan on filming a what's in my clinical bag video for um, critical care rotations because I did one for floor care, but I never did one for cl critical care. And I do carry some different things in my bag. Um, and now I have this. So I'll do an updated video of that and I will have details of the giveaway in there. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this video and edit it and get it up for you because it's been a little bit since I've uploaded. So I will go ahead and do that. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you enjoyed today's video, also be sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you know anytime I upload a video. And yeah, thank you again for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.